exercise, the reverse crunch. So, just want you to be, put your hands underneath your bottom, extend out and crunch in. Okay, time is on that clock, let's go. Really think about, as you come in, really strengthening those legs out, and then when you bring your knees in, you're pulling in that stomach. 20 seconds. Try and get your legs as low to the ground as possible. Okay, let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise, we're doing alternating leg lifts. So extend those legs out together and then one at a time, we're gonna bring the leg up for 30 seconds, let's go. You get those legs as low as to the ground as possible without the bottom of the back coming off the floor. 20 seconds. Keep it going. Really feeling those abs working. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise. I'm gonna stay up here and we're gonna do scissor kicks. So just crossing over the top. Let's go. And it's the same thing, bringing your legs as low as you can without the back coming off the floor. You really feel it in those abs and those quads too. Excellent job guys, don't give up. 10. And five, four, three, two, one. Bringing those legs down, we're gonna be working those obliques. So, I just want you to have, they're gonna be called heel touches. So just bringing your hand out to the side of your heel. You wanna make sure that you're keeping that back off the ground. 30 seconds is going. Really thinking about squeezing those oblique muscles. 20 seconds. Really think about extending that arm out, really gonna try and touch the heel. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, your next exercise, diagonal mountain climbers. So, just like a normal mountain climber, we're gonna take it out to the diagonal. And let's go, no breaks in between. Keep that belly pulled in, your back nice and straight. We are really working out those abs. If you do this every day or just a few times a week, you're gonna really see the difference. Just a little bit longer, keep it going. Three, two, one. Okay, the next exercise, oblique crunches. We're gonna do 30 seconds on the right, then 30 seconds on the left. So I just want you to go onto your side and just squeeze up. Let's go. Really think about engaging those muscles, those obliques working hard, and just lifting those shoulders and chest off the ground. And let's swap over to the other side. In five, four, three, two, one. Switch it over and let's take it back up again, straight away. You really feel those obliques working. 20 seconds. And then we're gonna start it all over again. We're gonna go back into those reverse crunches. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hands underneath, hands underneath the bottom. Bring your legs out and extend them in. Keep it going, guys. You've gone through it once, you can do it again. 20 seconds. This time will go quicker, I promise you. 
Lengthen those legs as you get to the end. Five, four, three, two, one. Back into those alternating leg lifts. Extending the legs out, bring them up one at a time. And if you're struggling at this point, you can just hold your legs out. You don't need to do the lift as well. It's just a modification. Excellent job, guys. Keep going. It's going to be worth it tomorrow. Five, four, three, two, one. Straight into those scissor kicks. You should be really feeling the burn now. Really feeling those abs working. Don't stop. And then we're going to go into heel touches next. So we're going to be using our obliques. Keep it going, guys. Only 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. And drop those legs down. Straight into the oblique heel touches. Make sure you're breathing, guys. It's important. I want to get that oxygen to the muscles. 20 seconds. Come on, you can do it. You remember what's next? In 10 seconds, we've got diagonal mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Straight into those diagonal mountain climbers. And just push that knee across. If you want to modify this exercise, you can just hold it up here. But to increase the intensity, we're going to add that leg. Come on, guys, keep it going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Back into those oblique crunches. So let's start with that right side again. No rest. Let's go. Great job, everybody. You've only got this, the other side to do. And then, if you think you're tough enough, we're going to do a burnout routine. Keep it going. Just lifting those shoulders off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Straight onto that left side. And let's bring it up. And these abs are feeling good, guys. It's definitely working. 20 seconds. Keep it going all the way to the end. Let's see if we can all do the burnout. 10. And three, two, one. Okay, if you think you still need a bit more pushing, now let's try the burnout. We're gonna do a plank for 15 seconds and then we do a side plank, 30 seconds on each side. So, we're gonna hold it up here, 15 seconds. Come on, you can do this last little bit. Keep it going. And let's change onto the side in three, two, one. 30 seconds on each side. Come on, you've just got one minute of exercise left. If you want to make it harder, you can look up to the ceiling or extend that leg out. It's going to make it even harder. Or if you need to make it a little less intensity, you can just drop those legs down. Okay, let's keep it going, guys. Just 35 seconds left to go of this whole routine. Three, two, one. Swap it straight onto that other side. Bring it up and extend that leg if you want to increase intensity. Oh, I know I'm going to feel good tomorrow. Really feel those obliques pulling, lifting to the ceiling. 
Okay, you're almost there, guys. Don't give up. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you can relax. Whew. Well, that just goes to show, you don't need to do half an hour, an hour on your abs. Six, eight minutes is all you need.